We had our distances Nothing could ever amount to this Cause there's one thing on my mind I felt you decompose Alright, today is March 30th, 2017. Um, I just finished packing up my things for the Montana de Oro 50K. I'm leaving tomorrow. Um, the race is in San Luis Obispo, California, and it has about 6,200 feet of climbing, so quite a bit. Um, second most of any race I've ever done. Training for this race has been so-so. Uh, it's been pretty good in the last six weeks or so. Um, this week I have had a bit of an injury. I've had kind of a quad strain. So I've had to take a few extra days off. So the taper in this week has been a little bit stronger than I would have liked, um, but that's okay. It's it's the week before you're kind of supposed to be resting anyway. I was kind of trying to train through it, but it turned out it was more of a proper taper um, and that's okay. But uh, this race is more of a tune-up, tune-up for the uh, Kui Mach 100K in October. I'm sure I'll do another tune-up race at some time between now and October. But um, Kui Mach 100K is the big goal. It's a Western States qualifier. Um, yeah, I'm pretty young, but um, I see winning Western States as a really, really lofty goal. Um, and so I'm kind of just going to try to try to accomplish that every year as soon as I can. Um, obviously, my chances of getting a golden ticket at this point in my life are pretty slim, so I'm just going to try and stay in the lottery as soon as I can. And then I'm going to go for the golden tickets every year. But for now, um, yeah, racing a 50K, and then I have something to do in... June or July, I haven't decided yet. And then hopefully Kui Mach 100K in October, because um, yeah, I want that lottery ticket for 2018. So um, thanks for keeping up with my training and everything like that. Um, it's a real blast to share this. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Easy decisions made. I thought I'd talk about my nutrition also, since I mentioned in a previous video that I am uh, pretty much vegan or plant-based. Um, and it is such a critical part of racing over four hours that I, I think it's worth mentioning. Um, basically what I've been doing in the last few 50Ks is taking in about 200 calories of Tailwind an hour. Um, I've been using Raspberry Buzz Tailwind. I put them in little bags like this. So there's a couple spots where I'll have to fill up my water, open up one of these bags, dump it into my water, and then keep going. And then a couple spots where my crew, who at this race is my mom, uh, will swap out a bottle with me for an already prepared bottle and then I'll kind of get going. Um, but that's only about 200 calories an hour um, and I usually need a little bit more than that. So in addition to that, pretty much every major aid station, I'll try and take some kind of uh, solid food, whether that's pretzels or the last race I did, it was little peanut butter and jelly finger sandwiches. Um, uh, something, whatever, whatever sounds good. Maybe not a great idea to not have that planned out, but um, I pretty much just eat whatever I whatever I feel like eating. And I think that's an okay strategy. So I'll do that and then about 20 ounces of water an hour. And uh, that's pretty much it for these 50Ks. Not really sure what I'll do when I move up to the longer distances, which is gonna come eventually. Um, but uh, when I figure that out, I will talk about that also. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs>